We're now going to start examining the differential mode gain for the source coupled pair. So here we see our uh, original source coupled pair and we're going uh, to replace it with an equivalent model for the small signal operation. So we replace our uh, supply voltages with grounds and our DC current sources with open circuits. So if that's the case then we're left with the model on the right. Okay, so we're going to assume that RD1 is equal to RD2 is equal to just a value we'll call RD. And we're also going to assume that RD is significantly smaller than the output resistance of the transistor. Okay, so let's find the transconductance for each of these transistors. So, if we assume that RS is large, and we're going to assume that it tends towards infinity, then if we look from the source of M1 towards M2, we see a 1 over GM. So if we look for a big GM1, we find that it would be equal to GM1 divided by 1 plus GM1 plus GMB1 times 1 over GM2. Now for the time being, we're going to assume that GMB is small, close to zero. And what this means is that GM1 big GM1 is approximately equal to GM1 divided by 2. Now, because of symmetry, we're going to assume that this is equal to big GM2 as well. Okay, so let's do analysis for the gain of this circuit. We're going to use superposition. So using superposition, we're going to put our input on VI1 and we're going to short VI2. And if we do this, we can measure the output VO1 prime, this is equal to minus one half GM times RD. VO2 prime is going to be going in the opposite direction uh, because we're going to basically be steering the current uh, through this transistor, so it's going to equal plus one half GM RD. Now, if we change our superposition and move to shorting uh, VI1 and putting the input on VI2, we would get VO1 double prime is equal to minus one half GM RD. VO2 double prime is equal to plus one half GM RD. And if we put all this together, VO1 is equal to VO1 prime plus VO1 double prime. VO2 is equal to VO2 prime plus VO2 double prime. Then we can find the output differential voltage. VOD is equal to VO1 minus VO2 by our definition earlier. And this is equal to minus GM RD times VI1 minus VI2. Remember that the definition for differential mode voltage gain was equal to VOD over VID. So our differential mode voltage gain is simply minus GM times RD. Exactly what we would have seen for a common source amplifier. Now we can make analysis a little bit simpler if we assume uh, one thing. So if RD1 is equal to RD2 is equal to RD and M1 is equal to M2 and our source resistance and our tail current source goes to infinity, then V3 is constant. Or sorry, Vs is constant, I should say. The source node between M1 and M2. It's constant, then we can treat it like it's what we call a virtual ground. So what we're going to do is just place a ground at that node. Well, if we do that, then we know that we can actually just separate a circuit into an equivalent half circuit. So here's our equivalent half circuit. Where we're going to look at half of the output voltage 
due to half of the input voltage. Okay, our voltage gain is just equal to big GM times R total. In this case, VOD2 over VID2, which is just equal to VOD over VID. Now we know that GM for this circuit, it's a common source amplifier, is simply minus GM and the total resistance is simply RD. So using this half circuit, we get the exact same gain that we got doing the more complicated superposition analysis. In the next slide, we'll look at finding the common mode gain of the circuit and finding what the common mode input or common mode rejection ratio is.